Hi guys, it's Naz. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today I will unbox and review this Parker Jota ballpoint pen, the stainless steel version. I bought this pen from eBay. It was listed as old new stock. That means that it's old stock that hasn't been opened or sold. The stainless steel Parker Jota ballpoint pen is the perfect EDC pen. It's small, it's light and it's very durable. It will last you a lifetime as long as you don't abuse it. The pen is cheap even if you buy it new but it writes very well. My dad bought this Parker Jota back in 1992 and since then he's changed the ink on this so many times. I've had this pen for two three years now and I love it. So I bought the stainless steel version to use as an everyday carry pen. I didn't want to lose this one as we've had it in the family since 1992. I'll leave it link in the description to a brand new Parker Jota ballpoint pen. Please like and comment with your current favorite EDC pen. This is old new stock so the box looks a bit tattered. On the back you can see the illustrations on here and based on that you can see that it looks very old. So I'm just going to open the box and see what the pen is actually like. All right so the box inside is still intact. It's not even cracked. So let's open it and see. The pen looks like it's in good shape still. The stainless steel version feels slightly heavier than the plastic version. Now let's click it for the first time, see if it still clicks. Actually, I like the feel of this click a bit better. This one seems like old pen. The Parker Jota uses a Parker style G2 refill. Let's open it and see what it looks like. This is what the Parker Jota G2 refill looks like and this is quite widely used so you won't have any problems finding it. Alright so it looks like this stainless steel version was made in 2005. Let's see if it still writes good. Yeah still the ink still works fine even though it was made in 2005. The reason I know it was made in 2005 is because there's a code here and the code you can trace it back to which quarter and which year it was made in. So this one's got a code of T.I which means it was made in 2005 on the third quarter. My dad's one, based on the code, I can see that it was made in quarter two, 1992. I'll show you a zoomed in version of both of these. And I'll, I'll also leave a link in the description where I found the codes. The stainless steel version, it has a really old ink. So it still writes well, I think, even though it's old ink. The plastic one feels a little bit lighter and quicker to write with. This one is a bit heavier, it offers a bit more resistance. But I think that's just because it's, uh, the ink is a bit older. But they both feel good in the hand to write with. I like using the Quink Flow Parker style G2 ink that comes with the pen. I've, I've just gotten used to using that because I've been using it for many years. The ink doesn't smudge very easily. Although if you try really hard, you can make it smudge. I think the Quink Flow Parker ink is very good for everyday carry use. I think having a pen with you is essential for everyday carry use. The Parker Jota stainless steel version, I think is one of the best e EDC pens out there. The Jota will last you years. As you can see from my dad's pen, it's lasted for over 20 years. I bought the stainless steel version for EDC because this is more durable. I think this is the best budget friendly EDC pen. I've left a link in the description where you can purchase a new stainless steel version of this pen. Thank you for watching. If you appreciate honest reviews, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel for more weekly EDC and gadget review videos.